Welcome to Australia Jesuit News. Today's theme is Think of the Poor, It's a Pathway Toward God. Celebrating the Third World Day of the Poor in 2019 at St. Peter's Basilica. Pope Francis reminded everyone present at St. Peter's Basilica to remember the poor as they are the treasure of the church. In his homily, Pope Francis highlighted that love for the poor is central to following Jesus. But so often it is in contradiction with what the world considers important. I have been a missionary in Cambodia for the last six years and only recently returned to Australia. In Cambodia, I was part of a team setting up Xavier Jesuit School in Sisapon, about 45 kilometers from the Thai border town of Poi Pet. Cambodia is considered one of the poorest countries in East Asia as a result of the genocide perpetrated by the Khmer Rouge under the leadership of Pol Pot, resulting in the deaths of around 2 million Cambodians from 1975 to 1979. That's about a quarter of Cambodia's population at the time. The majority of those killed were upper-class Cambodians, or the elite, and the well-educated. As a result, the level of education suffered, and the education system in Cambodia is inferior to its neighboring countries. Sisapon was chosen as the ideal location to build the first Jesuit school there, not because of its temples or beauty, but because it is the poorest of the 25 provinces in Cambodia. Many of the students who come to Xavier Jesuit School are poor, and most of them are on scholarships. What inspired me most about working with the poor in Cambodia was their hospitality toward other people and their openness to others, despite their being quite poor themselves. They do have their own difficulties and struggles and are vulnerable in their poverty. In spite of their vulnerability, they are very welcoming to foreigners and even to strangers. There's always a smile on their faces and they are happy all the time, even when they have no money to pay for their children's school fees or struggle to provide their family with three meals a day. I recall visiting one of the hostel students from the Xavier Parish of Sisapon with Father Greg Priyadi, an Indonesian Jesuit who has been a missionary in Cambodia for 19 years. The family had only one chicken and yet they served us this one chicken. On another occasion, I visited another family and we had only rice and eggs. While the family would share one egg between the two of them, I was given one egg for the meal. When I insisted on cutting it in half, they refused to allow me to do so. I discovered that the poor are very willing to share what they have with others, and they do not hold back on their hospitality. They accept others into their family so easily, and they consider us part of their extended family. It is the way with the poor. What they receive, they share openly with others. There's no pretension when we interact with the poor. What you see is what you get. There is a genuineness in their relationship with others. I think this is the attitude we can learn from the poor. It is an openness toward our God who sees right through us. We cannot hide from God and it is this open, honest and simple 
attitude that God seeks from us all. Hence, interacting with the poor points the way toward God. When we interact with them, when we are in relationship with them, they can teach us how to be genuine and simple at the same time. They lead us toward God. We are called to conversion each day, and the poor can lead us to our own conversion. When we enter places of vulnerability and poverty, we encounter Christ, and it is there that conversion will take place. Pope Francis puts it beautifully, how beautiful it would be if the poor can occupy in our hearts the place they have in the heart of God. Thank you.